Last week, the county announced that several dead birds and mosquitoes had tested positive for West Nile virus. The county is recommending that everyone use insect repellents with DEET for protection, but some people are choosing natural insect repellents over DEET. These folks seem to be enjoying a nice summer day, but unfortunately, a summer day and insect bites go together like ants in a picnic. Although this woman came to Miramar Lake with plenty of protection, it didn't help. Pretty much, but I got bit sitting right there. <laughs> Most insect bites are annoying, but a bite from a mosquito carrying West Nile virus can be serious, even deadly. So residents do need to take precautions against mosquito bites. Chris Conlon is a vector ecologist with the County of San Diego. He says last week mosquitoes infected with West Nile virus were discovered near Oceanside. Consequently, the county is urging people to use repellents with DEET. It's actually still held up as kind of the gold standard of repellents. But some people are concerned about DEET's potential toxicity, and they're choosing from a number of alternatives to conventional repellents. There are a few new alternatives that are actually endorsed by the Center for Disease Control. These alternatives contain all natural ingredients like oils and herbs, and people are buying them up. Every single day they're looking for non deet The supervisors at REI Sporting Goods in Kearney Mesa say manufacturers of natural repellents are offering more and more products. And we have some that are based on certain herbs. A lot of times that would include citronella or peppermint. This lemon eucalyptus spray is a best seller. Which seems to be real popular. In fact, we're out of it on our peg. We sold out through the weekend. It's a mixture of lemon and oils from the eucalyptus citriodora tree. It claims to repel a number of insects, including mosquitoes. Natural repellents with picaridin also come highly recommended. Picaridin has gotten high ratings in Consumer Reports and um, other magazines. And Conlin suggests before buying any insect repellent. You have to look very carefully at the label and it'll tell you what the active ingredient is. Also available, the Don't Bite Me Bug Patch, which contains vitamin B1 and aloe. Some suggest putting a dryer sheet like Bounce in a back pocket to keep the mosquitoes away. If you'd like more information, just go to our website, cbs8.com, and click on the hot button.